I am running into some issue, guys. Guys, some cooling issues. Um, there's a few things I have in mind, what it could be, don't know. So the issue I'm running into is every time I fill up belly with coolant, it drops down. So you see how it's some in there. So it's not like I have to put a whole bottle in here, but I always gotta keep putting a little bit every time I drive, which is super weird because it's cooling in the hose. Um, the car doesn't overheat. I don't see coolant mixing in with the engine and blowing up the exhaust because it could be a few things. It could be the cap is defected or messed up. It could be my thermostat maybe. It could be the radiator itself. It could be the head gasket, which I hope is not because if it is, I'm gonna jump off a bridge. So I'm gonna start off with uh, the cap. So this is the OEM cap I had since I bought the car and I actually bought a Skunk 2 one. Voila. So, been had this for a minute. I just didn't know it was the right time for me to install this thing, so let's do it now. Skunk 2 always got good packaging. This ain't rated, cap comes with an owner's kit. Like, what the heck? Like, what is this, actually? Oh, it comes with like a little uh, barcode crap, so you know, you bought something official. It's actually pretty cool. I like that. Shake this thing out the box. So I'm recording on my phone right now because I want to switch it up. Look at that. I want to vlog a little bit more, so figure let's do some more vlogs, some more car stuff, and bam. So this is the new cap for competition use. Okay. Hopefully this does something. That's pretty much it. Yeah, so I'm going to pour some coolant in here, put the cap on, see if that helps. I should have got a match in the oil cap because I have the K2 in oil cap, but you know what? It is what it is. The sticker, I don't know if I'm gonna put that on the car. I'm kind of over the stickers, to be honest. I just ran it for a minute, and yeah, there's no air bubbles coming up, so the system is bled correctly. Um, I just don't know what it is. So here's the old one and the new one. I really don't even know what I'm looking for right now, to be honest. The old one don't even look that bad, but I did, just, I did do some research, and they were saying sometimes this can fail, and you can lose some coolant because it's not pressurizing or whatever. So I'm like, okay. So let's see if by doing this, this helps. And then when you order this, you have the option to go with OEM cap, aftermarket radiator. What's funny is I probably should have did an aftermarket radiator because I want to get a radiator anyways, just in case if it's the radio that's the issue. And like I said, if it's not the cap, it's not the radiator, it's not the thermostat, and most likely it's probably a head gasket and then I'll probably have to look into that, which I really don't want to, but you know, if it is, it is. So I'm gonna check either by the end of the day, see if it's still cooling in there when I get off of work and see if that's the issue. If that's the issue, then I made the video for no reason. But if it's not the issue, the video's gonna be longer. So we're just gonna have to see. I've been working on my gaming setup, you know, for a while that I'll kind of want to tend to my cards now. So for Onyx, I got some spark plugs. I'm gonna install some spark plugs in Onyx, but that'll be a separate video. And then for Belly, um, I wanna get this thing done. And I wanna get this thing figured out because I got a lot of plans I wanna do with her engine wise. So I gotta make sure engine everything's good before I even you know, start on that. You see I have the K2 and top hose and then the bottom hose is still an OEM hose. So I don't know if I never changed that. Well, I never got the kit that came with both holes. I got the kit with the, that just came with the top holes. I wish when I got this kit, I got the bottom holes too, because it allowed you to go around the battery. Because the way how it is right now, it's like you see how my battery's a little bit tint, tinted, tilted to do that hose. So that's another reason why I want to get a new radiator. That way I can change that hose down there too, and just change this whole setup and kind of refresh it. So, so we will see what's going on. But uh, I'm gonna start getting some uh, engine mods for this thing because I want to start making some more power. But we're going to have to see. Just drove it for a minute. Nothing, any, any spillage or nothing like that. It looks good. What I noticed is my bottom hose is actually pretty close to the shroud. Maybe that might be an issue. Maybe I'm having to leak on the bottom hose. I don't know, we're going to have to see. All right, drive good so far. Hasn't overheated or nothing, so let's see. Not only I'm trying to figure out this whole cooling um, issue thing, Majigi. I also got the admission test and renew my um, my registration. And also, I'm really planning on doing to get a special plate for Belly. In the last video, I was talking about how I had a new bike uh, mount for the garage to clear up some space. 
And there is, it took me forever to, to do that thing together. Let's see if the Skunk 2 cap helped out with the whole cooling issue. And if it's not the, the cap, Remember, righty tiny lefty Lucy. And it's not the radiator cap. That's annoying. So I'm bringing this to my job today to get the emission test done. I guess I'll see if they can take a look at this and see what's going on. Let me see the holes. I mean, the holes got fluid in it, so I don't know what the hell's going on. I'm not leaking any um, coolant either. I don't see smoke coming back, so I really don't know what it is, but I'm gonna pour some more cooling in right now. Had to work, actually, had to work and get this mission test done at least. See what the hell is going on. I also got some goodies for belly. Probably install those in another video. Made it to my job. Okay, let's see. What we're gonna get into today, but yeah, she's beautiful. All right, so my car passed emissions. So that's good. I can do my special plate. But the coolant thing, they're gonna go take a look at it. One thing I didn't notice, and I'm gonna show you guys when I get the key, is that there's coolant kind of like spraying all over the engine bay. So well, probably what's going on is it's probably not a leak issue or something. Well, maybe there's a leak issue in the holes or something like that. I don't know. Or maybe one of the hoses messed up. Maybe one of the hoses not on tight enough. I don't know what's going on, but now that I think about it, when I showed you guys the engine bay earlier, I seen the dry cooling all over it. So that's it was good. All right, let me show you guys what I'm talking about. So you can look in here, but then again, it's probably like old. Oh no, nah, see look. I think I'm chatting because this looks old. Like that don't look like fresh. Like all that back there, they don't look like fresh uh, coolant. I think I'm chatting. Or am I? I don't know. I need to clean. Actually, no, I'm not chatting. See, look, down there is wet. So, I think coolant is coming out of this top hose up here. See how it's all crusty, crusty and nasty right down there? See the coolant coming out of that top hose? Or. This is bottom hose. Gotta figure it out. This lower hose down here, this thing. There's some there's something I think it's I think it's this lower hose down here. Didn't get to take a look at it today to see what's going on with the coolant, but this engine bay needs to be clean one and I think it's something there's something going on with this lo this lower hose, like I've been telling you guys is OEM. I think there's something going on with that lower hose. I don't know. It passed the mission, so I'm happy about that. I did get a cold, probably with my mass sensor. I think I need to unplug this and clean this thing off. Probably clean off this whole filter. But, yeah, let's see, oh, this engine bay needs to be cleaned up, son. I'll bring the car back to my job tomorrow, see if maybe they have some time to take a look at it, because I don't know what's going on, but there's something going on with the coolant. I don't know what it is, but there's something going on with it. I have a feeling it's probably the thermostat. Hang on for right now, I don't know what I'm talking about. That's what I love about cars. You could, you could just like, especially like, a, you know, like a project car, just jump in and kind of figure things out because you guys are probably going to be in the comments. Like, oh yeah, you're an idiot. You don't know what you're talking about. But the thing is, is it's true. I don't, I don't know what I'm talking about. That's why I got the car here, but. All right, so we just going to end this video here because I don't think I even accomplished anything in this video today. I mean, at least we got the mission test done. So that's good. And I put the request for the special license plate. So let's see if they accept that. Other than that, I guess we try again tomorrow. Fire at nighttime, though. I'm gonna I'm I'm keep it. I'm gonna keep it 100. She fire at nighttime. I have to get a picture. Hold on, hold on. Show these fire. Okay, that's for you. She clean, y'all. She clean. She clean. She clean. She clean. I appreciate you guys for tuning in for this vlog. Like I said, I was trying to just figure some things out, but. We're gonna figure out this whole cooling thing. I don't know what's going on, but we're gonna figure this out. Thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next vlog.